Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of our next 20 minute playbook episode, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined again by Robert Cantwell, founder of Upholdings and portfolio manager of Compound Kings, which is an exchange traded fund focused on investing exclusively in compounders that are companies that are compounding their businesses by reinvesting in the highest ROIC parts of their business. I had Robert Cantwell on last year in episode number 23, where he joined me shortly after launching Compound Kings in late 2020. Before founding up holdings and launching Compound Kings, Robert had an incredible career, both as an operator and an investor. Robert started his career as an analyst at Elevation Partners. He then worked at the long short hedge fund Meru Capital before serving as Everlane CFO for five years. Robert founded up holdings in 2019 and launched Compound Kings in late 2020. In this episode, we cover why Robert is obsessed with how we think, process information, and make decisions. The single biggest lesson that Robert has taken away from launching and scaling Compound Kings over the last two years. How being a compounding-focused investor is different than being solely growth or value-focused, and why. Why he skips to the back of investment books and goes straight to the source material to form his own opinions about the contents in the book. The investing tools that he and his team use daily at Compound Kings to beat the S&P 500, and his three-step process for consuming, thinking through, and ultimately coming to conclusions about everything that he reads. Here's one of my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. I'm really curious how you think about how much time you spend consuming information and how much time you spend reflecting and thinking and making decisions on that information. And I think obviously this matters for anyone. If you're an entrepreneur, I think it matters, especially if you're an investor, how do you approach that time allocation? How do you think about that trade-off of kind of consuming versus reflecting and thinking? And we were talking a little about thinking at the beginning. I would add a third dimension of that where I, I see the process as there's consumption, there is the thinking about what to do or what to work on. And then there's the, the actual process of analysis in which there's just work being done. It's not even necessarily thinking per se. And so the consumption, and it's pretty evenly split across three. In consumption, that's, you know, you pick your selected sources of, of, of news or earnings or source documents, as we've discussed. It's the team, you know, speaking to me about the things that they've learned and discovered and sharing that. The thinking process really boils down to, given this deluge of, of information or new data, what is the next question that we're trying to answer? So the thinking process is almost as much of one of prioritization or deciding which questions we're going to work on. And then the third component of it is, well, great. Those are the questions. We have our biases. We have our hypotheses. And now we either have to prove or disprove those based off of doing more work. And so that's, it's really kind of a three-step process that I'd say each of those takes a pretty equal amount of time. And we can only really handle two or three cycles of that in a given week, given the you know, capacity of, of, of the human mind.